supposed to be a fast track. Canada would love to make it so. And we are underway. Coming down with it is Bukaboom with the first touch for Canada. And despite that injury in warm-up, Josh Nelson is out there giving it a go. Uruguay's first touch to Silva. High, boomy kick above the scoreboard, in fact. And a touch there by Braid is knocked on. Play continues. Uruguay is away. Marata dishes to his left. And Uruguay will try to get set up and work that ground game, but actually swinging wide to Silva, who finds some room, breaks through. One on one, Paris is left. Silva will get in and an early score for Uruguay. What a stunning start for the 25-year-old Rodrigo Silva, scything through the Canadian defense. Uruguay doing well to play the advantage after the knock-on, came back second asking, and that was far too easy if you're a Canadian coach. Look at this, nothing really created here, no overlap. But look at the determination from Silva. He pinned his ears back off that left foot. Poor tackle from Ilnicki, and he didn't even need to offload. Inside the first minute, and what should be a relatively routine conversion as well. The Canadian squad, by the way, very quick to meet at the conclusion of that score to gather themselves. Okay, ball here, man. Well, in his 43rd cap, he showed his experience there. As he sensed the Canadians not fully committed to those tackles, got the right hand out and palmed them off twice. That'll give Bracesi a good chance to add two more. From that last one there, Kurtz was uh, playing off the ball, wasn't it? Kind of a bit. And no wind to play with here. Yeah. An easy kick for Bracesi. Well, it feels like the wind has been taken out of the stadium. The yes. Canadian fans have been silenced. Get back into this behind their team. 